it was a perfect day to explore Lake Wanasink Lake. Bill called it picture perfect. You know, George, nature photography requires skill, patience, and timing. Remember, George, to cross a log, you need exact foot placement and a keen sense of balance. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, those are tadpoles, George, a common form of pond life. Uh -huh. I guess. A city kid like you never sees any real wildlife, huh? Hey, why don't we take some back home and observe their growth? <laughs> While collecting tadpoles, both proper net control and collecting jar placement are crucial. How'd you like to look after him for me? Uh -huh. <laughs> Do the tadpoles like the lettuce I boiled for him? <laughs> now remember, I want you to watch them closely for me. They do some amazing things as they grow. <laughs> Keep them safe in that bowl, and they should be just fine. And so on that gloriously sunny day, George became the proud caretaker of a bowl full of tadpoles. The tadpole's bowl was small. George thought they deserved to stretch their, well, whatever a tadpole stretches, and decided to let them enjoy a quick swim in the lagoon while he went to get their lunch. Tadpoles be. What would he tell Bill? <laughs> hey, George! Lagoon exploration is fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> oh, by the way, how are my tadpoles doing? <laughs> Time to go back to the city, George. <laughs> George hoped the tadpoles would be okay without a monkey to feed or protect them. Pupa stage. I bet kids like you never see that in the city, huh? <laughs> hey, have my tadpoles done anything amazing yet? <laughs> <laughs> Weeks went by before George returned to the lake. <laughs> George still couldn't find the tadpoles, but they had to be in the lagoon. Unless... 